on this edition of Forgotten Gems, I wanted to spotlight a movie that I have fond memories of. I also remember being afraid of this movie as well. That's probably why it still sticks with me after all of this time has passed. Today I bring you The Brave Little Toaster. Released in 1987, this animated musical follows five household appliances that come to life when their masters are not looking. Think Toy Story. Toy Story featuring a toaster, a lampstand named Lampy, a blanket named Blanky, a radio, and a vacuum cleaner named Kirby. Oddly enough, a lot of the original Pixar animators were involved with this project. Ironically, while employed with Disney, John Lasseter himself in 1982 wanted to originally do this film with CGI characters similar to Toy Story. His idea was turned down and he was shown the door soon after. Sounds like the Brave Little Toaster novel had a lot of influence on Lasseter and their creation of Pixar going forward. The plot follows the previously mentioned appliances who have not seen their owner in 2000 days. When they see a real estate agent trying to sell the house, Toaster decides that there is no way their master would just abandon them. Toaster organizes a plan to gather the other appliances together and search for their master, whose name is Rob. The appliances encounter an evil clown, violent storms, and even other appliances that do not want this group to succeed. And not to mention a junkyard with machines that want to crush our protagonists. The junkyard and the zombie appliances are the images I remember the most. They're ingrained in my brain for the rest of time. The Brave Little Toaster was able to convey a range of emotions for me even as an adult. It's a stellar voice cast with a wonderful heartwarming story. There are plenty of perils along the way that really make you wonder if our group of appliances can actually succeed on this mission that they are on. It tugs on the heartstrings more than once. The animation is top notch. That's probably to be expected by a group of animators that went on to put Pixar on the map. The animation is capable of keeping you invested in the story and characters. Emotion and action shine through the animator's work here. This animation combined with David Newman's amazing score generates a serious atmosphere that goes hand in hand with the themes of the movie. From joy to sorrow, the score hits home with a wide range of emotions. That's why this film still holds up. It appeals to all ages. Children can enjoy this movie, but there's also a lot here that only adults will understand. Basically, they were able to do and say things that Disney would never allow at this time. The characters are unique and fleshed out. You get a sense of each of their personalities, and they play off of each other well. Toaster is brave and kind. Radio just wants to entertain. Blanky is an insecure security blanket. Lampy is not the brightest bulb in the shed. And Kirby's emotions stay inside of him just like a vacuum keeps his contents inside of him. Their personalities are reflective of the type of appliance they are, which is a nice touch. The Brave Little Toaster saw its fair share of positive reviews, and it's still looked on as a quality animated film which will stand the test of time. When you deal with universal themes that everyone can relate to, then your art has a good chance of lasting and not being forgotten. If you enjoy this content, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I hope today's the day that I earned your subscription. Thanks for being a part of my life, and I'll see you next time.